What's going on everybody? We are back for another video and today I'm playing an indie horror game or at least I think it's a horror game called Finger Bones which is admittedly quite a strange name now it says it right there this is com uh, intended to be completed in a single set sitting no save function is suggested you set aside about half an hour to complete it so probably gonna play the whole thing unless it's terrible if it's terrible then well I'll just like to say that it's terrible and, and close the game forever but yeah finger bones let's see what it's got an incredibly high mouse sensitivity <laughs> oh my that's a little bit better hold on I'm sorry that will do it's not perfect but it will do So it said to leave, I exit to the door I start, which is that one. Okay. Right? Is this a, a note or something? It's my weekend to get Katie. I'm not really in the mood. I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than, usu more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce didn't certainly didn't help. Because I'm not depressed, I am enlightened. And this is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Okay. I guess Amanda's his daughter, so, so he couldn't be bothered with his daughter, so he just ditched her and went to go read. Uh... I have a flashlight, okay. Don't really need one uh, in this room at least. Can I take this knife? Doesn't seem like it. So what do I do? This door? Nope, it appears to be locked. What do we got? What do we got? That's done a thing. I'm not sure what the thing that it's done is. I think it's like a generator or something. What else we got here? Just another note. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. But whatever keeps her happy. I suppose she's like her mother. A delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Okay, let me just go back check that other note. I think it was Amanda, but I don't remember. Uh, oh, Katie. Where the fuck did I get Amanda from? <laughs> I just pulled that one out of my ass. What is this? Uh, do I have to type in Katie? I think that did a thing. Wait, what? That was a door before, wasn't it? Okay, I'm already confused. But I'm interested. Confused, but interested. This looks like a basement. I need to turn up my volume a little bit. That should be fine. Uh, yeah, a basement in a horror game is probably never a good place to be. It's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be all wild animals again. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days. And she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started. And I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran into the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure, delightful survival. Um... That's locked. This is starting to get pretty grim. That's also locked, so I guess I need a, a key or oh, another note. I boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful. 
I burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification. I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder by myself. I just piled them up near the hatch. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. The blood would probably ruin them? What are you doing in the cellar, buddy? This doesn't sound good. Oh my. The tool room has been her name for years now, and I can't bring myself to change it. Her name. What? I... Don't know. I can hear something that sounds like a girl crying. I'm not 100% sure because I only have one ear on my headphones on. Because I can't talk if I can't hear myself. Uh... <laughs> I am slightly confused by this. So I have a hatch and a door, both of which don't open. And a clue that says her name. The two names I've got so far are Katie and Lynn. So... Is there something going on with this light? No? So I need to find some way to open this door or this hatch. They definitely don't open. Um... I'm not sure. Okay, I figured it out. I went back up to that uh, little computer terminal and typed in Lynn. And now the door opens. And we have another note. She remembered Father's Day and drew me a picture. I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures. And we're barely able to find enough food to survive. I turned her crayons into candles. We need more candles in case the, the generator goes out again, and it helps break up the, monot the monotony. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Okay. So, I don't think anything happens. It's, it's just, like, notes to tell you a story? I don't know. There are things I've wanted to do for years, desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman, and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those des desires locked up anymore. Uh... Yes, there probably is. Seeing as you're like, locked up down here with your daughter? Is this going where I think it's going? There's another one here. I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. NNY. The rest of the word is missing. Oh god, what could that be? I'm guessing that's the storage room. NNY. Is there anything else in here? Like a key or... Something? I don't think so. This could be a problem. NNY. What could that be? What could that be? Uh, answers on a postcard, please. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of the other notes. Does it tell me how many words I changed to something I can easily remember? And then why? So I guess I need to look at the other notes. Um, for a clue that'll give me the rest of the word, I guess. And then one, two, three years, desires, back consciousness, be new in a year, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no. Through Father's Day, a picture, don't stand. No. I can definitely hear a girl crying. And it's... Quite disturbing. Every practical and useful one of the books, scientific, blah, blah, blah. I'm just looking for a word that's got the letters N and Y in it. Because then that should give me the rest of the. Yeah. That was for that door, and it was Lynn. 
Ah, finally happened. See, that's got Lin as NNY, but it's not the right order. Uh, I'm gonna figure this out, hopefully. And we'll see what's behind this door of probably terror. So, yeah. Alright, guys, we're back down in the basement. Um, the word was NNYL. And I'll be honest, I had to look it up. Because I'm dumb. And we have more notes. But there's also a switch. That's done a thing, I guess. I am a bag of DNA. And I exist to make more of myself. I married and produced a daughter because my genes demand reproduction. I wrote books and created because creativity served a survival advantage to my ancient ape ancestors. I built this place, took refuge in it, and spent hours thinking up silly little artificial laws to live by, because my forefathers built cities and societies, to allow time and peace to reproduce and protect their genes, dreams, love, opinions, desires, beauty, innocence, figments of our collective primordial imagination, fleeting electrical signals that fire across our synopsis for a pointless moment in time. They used to serve a purpose, and now they are needless confusion. And here I am, the last one on Earth for all I know, ready to be free of them. This guy, this fucking guy, he's pretty deep, man. And that still isn't open. So, what, what did that switch do? I'm not sure what the switch did. Is there any other notes in here? Give me a clue. Doesn't look like it. Oh, God. You know, I like these kind of games, but... I do, but I'm, I'm too fucking stupid and impatient to, to figure it out. How the fuck do I open this hatch? Give me that hammer, I'll just bash it open. No? That's not a thing? Okay, of course that's not a thing. I, I can't see anything else in here. And I can't... think of any of the words that I could type in upstairs. Um, unless this is a thing. Doesn't seem like it. No. Uh, okay. Something else to figure out, I guess. Here we go. That switch has opened up this hole. The cellar is freedom. Okay. So I, I guess we type freedom in and the cellar will, will open. Hopefully. Oops. <laughs> freedom! Yeah, it made a noise. So I, that's gotta be it, I guess. If it's not, then fuck, I don't know. of truth. Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay. My flashlight is flickering. There's only a new food f Bleh. Learn to speak. There's only a new food for one. She's going to die anyway. And I'm free now. Freedom. It took the end of all humanity for, my, for me to find freedom. It took the end of all humanity for me to find freedom. The flashlight is fucking... What the fuck happened here? It seems to have been torn from a diary. She finally died last night. I don't know whether from starvation, dehydration, or blood loss. I threw her body into the woods, her fingers, my anti-religious artifacts, my testament to moral and intellectual freedom, are locked in the safe upstairs. I am content in the knowledge that I haven't done anything wrong. It 
Yeah. Oh, shit. What? The father didn't know why he'd come back after all these years, starving and tired. He just wanted to see the cell one last time. With one last flicker, the flashlight died, and he was left in the pitch dark. He sat down on the cold floor and closed his eyes. He could still hear her, even now. It was peaceful here in the cellar. It was free here in the cellar. All right, so we're back here at the start, because after that little um, dialogue at the end, it just randomly closed itself. And I, I had a quick look, and it, it's supposed to do that. That's the end of the game. Um, That was interesting. Okay, nothing really happened. It was just walking around, uh, trying to get doors open and reading notes. But it definitely created an interesting dynamic. Is that even the right word? I don't know. I'm just pulling stuff out of my ass here. Uh, <laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. I, I was interested, you know, when I started reading the notes, I was interested to read more. So as far as I can tell, the father, which who was I, blah, who I was actually playing as, killed and quite possibly raped his daughter in the cellar and dumped her body out in the woods. And the flashlight, you know, you go back down to the cellar because you want to see it for one last time. I don't know, maybe to pat yourself on the back for a job well done. I don't know why. And the flashlight goes out and you just sit there in the darkness. It's quite good. Quite good. I mean, it was very short and I'd never play it again, but I'm pretty sure this was free on Steam. I don't remember. Pretty sure it was. So, I mean, you can't exactly complain. I've played a lot of games like this before, and none of them, you know, have been like the. I mean, they've all been like, oh yeah, you're in this spooky place, walk around, read the notes, and then there'll be a jump scare. There was no jump scare here. It was just, which was a good thing. It was just the story, you know, figuring out what exactly this father had done to his daughter. And while it doesn't outright tell you, it does paint a very vivid and quite disturbing picture. So yeah, David... I can't pronounce your second name, so I'm not even going to try. Um, good job, man. Good job. I think he has some other games, um, so I'm probably going to check those out at some point. I highly recommend checking him out, because uh, that was good. And I'd be very interested to see what else he can do. Yeah, I got nothing else to say. I'm just sort of, like I said, pulling stuff out of my ass right now. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.